straight to this Fox News alert for you. The Trump administration set to hold an emergency meeting, bowing action against trigger-happy Kim Jong-un. Yeah, this comes just hours after the U.S. and South Korea respond to North Korea's ballistic missile launch with a joint show of force. Benjamin Hall is live for us in London with some brand new breaking details. Good morning, Benjamin. Good morning, Robin Heather. Well, look, yes, it is appearing now as if yesterday's ICBM launch by the North Koreans really was a game changer. Not only is it said to be able to hit Alaska and its coast, but it was also launched from a mobile launcher, which means this weapon is a lot harder to track, a lot harder for the, for the U.S. to find. Today, the U.S. and South Korean military responded by holding combined ballistic military drills, demonstrating their precision firing capabilities into territorial waters off South Korea. The Army said that this U.S. system can be rapidly deployed and engaged and has deep strike precision capability. Yesterday's North Korean ICBM traveled 578 miles towards Japan, but it traveled around 1,200 miles high and for about 40 minutes. Analysts say that at a different trajectory that could hit the coast of Alaska, and that was real evidence that the threat out of this rogue state was increasing. The groundbreaking launch was personally overseen by Kim Jong-un, a flexing of his muscles on America's Independence Day. The leader there praised it, and people around Pyongyang watched on North Korean TV and celebrated. Today, Secretary Tillerson re released a response saying, the United States strongly condemns North Korea's launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile. Testing an ICBM represents a new escalation of the threat to the United States, our allies and partners, the region and the world. Global action is required to stop a global threat. But it remains to be seen exactly what the U.S. and President Trump can do. Nikki Haley has called for an emergency meeting at the Security Council today at 3 p.m. But really the hopes that China might rein in North Korea are fading. And now it looks like the U.S. may have to do this by itself in one way or another. Back to you guys. Yeah. All right. We'll see what happens today. Benjamin, thank you. Thanks.